guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Yardy Belly TV. This is the wifey. Yardy is in the building. But bless up yourselves, you guys. And we are doing a quick one. Yes, super duper quick live. Official Jamia. Never fail to jump on really, really quick. Good evening, good afternoon to it's you. It's not afternoon, it's morning still. Hello. Let's see ya. Hurry up. Wow, good morning, good morning. I thought it was afternoon. Good, good morning, Annette Francis. Jelin, good morning to you. Big up, big up to everybody who is joining from Sister J. Yes, Caribbean cuisine. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, this is the wifey. Yeah, we are doing a quick mid-morning slash afternoon drink but this one is going to be a what do you call it banger mm -hmm. this one is going to be a banger and we're using a very very popular a very very um well-known ingredient from jamaica mm -hmm. but we're going to just you know jazz it up a little bit and show you guys how it can be life-changing valerie bernard good afternoon to you donna lee duncan tyrone bailey and everybody else big up and bless up on herself good morning everybody to the team happy crew <laughs> big up to the team happy crew but yeah go ahead and just hit the thumbs up button as soon as you come on because it naga normal naga normal all right, so let me give you guys a little preview. You guys ready for the preview? You don't want the preview? All right, let me give you a preview of what we're working with. All right, so we have some very, very, very interesting cooking with Miss Brown. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Sidati Johnson and family. Mm-hmm. Claire, good afternoon to you. Why we keep saying afternoon if it seems so late to me? But hey, the earlier the better. Still morning, but morning to everybody. All right, so we're going to utilize it's um it's getting to um to the Christmas season, but we're previous, yes. So we have some sorrel here, and we all know that sorrel is a quintessential ingredient that we use during the holidays and we just do it for the sake of doing it because the drink tastes good right so we sometimes we don't even stop to think of the nutritional value that um the item is that we are consuming we just you know have it because of the fact that it's either popular it's traditional or it just simply tastes good in this case it's all three but it is packed with nutrients you guys and specifically nutrients that can um, help us lower in cholesterol and you know um, you ensure in heart health so we have sorrel and this is the dried one we don't have the luxury of having the fresh one you know one of my neighbors do grow sorrel around the corner our Jamaican neighbor mm-hmm but my father just cut my eye past the man sorrel and just stick with the evil one we can get right so we bought this at i believe our bravo or local Bar bravo supermarket and this is the dried version to be honest i would prefer the fresh one but hey it is what it is so we have that and guys to pair with this if this is not potent and nutritious enough we are going to be pairing it with our beetroot right so these two are our items are the main items that we're using i'm using some apple just because i want to use the apple to add some sweetness of course i feel like it's gonna need more sweetness but the the, the, the less sugar i have to add the better so i'm using some apples to try to you know provide a little bit of sweetness and of course you know your ginger afi be in your sorrel i did go ahead and boil my my sorrel this is already um this is a half package I, I already went ahead and boiled the other half mm -hmm. so i have that over here to show you guys which i did boil with my ginger and i boil it guys with whole cloves yes mm -hmm. whole clove huh come up here 
sister J, Caribbean cuisine. Thank you, thank you so 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 much for sending your your um your family over here to support us. Yes, and bless us up with this um this video. Anyway, so let's get right into it. We have right here our juice so that we're gonna be using, which is our Breville. Mm -hmm. And guys, we're in the market for a slow juicer, but until we get that, we're going to use what we have, right? All right, so. All right, so in this part, we have our Sariel. This, as I said before, is a half package, and I'm very impressed with how potent the dried Sariel looks. It actually looks super duper strong so i'm gonna go ahead and um strain that off i have a glass container here so Alright, so we have that much. This is the remaining. Sorry, I'm pretty sure I can add some more water to that and make a weaker version. So I might do that. Who knows? So this, oops. Look how nice and rich that look. Foodie friend, good morning to you. Annette Francis, good morning. All right, so we have Sariel right here. So this is half package of Sariel and I just went ahead and added maybe eight to 10 cups of water to that and boil it. And again, I boiled it with uh, a ginger, maybe this much ginger. And I added four cloves and that was it. Yeah, but you can add other stuff if you want to. But that is the basic ingredient that I use to, to boil it. And I'm going to be using two huge beetroots. This is one here. And I'm going to be just peeling another one and then start the whole juicing ball a rolling. Right? So they're, they're, the heart is super duper duper. It's, it's almost um, easily one of the most important organs in the body it's pretty much the engine of the body keeps the body um going and we have to ensure that we keep our heart healthy right right all right so we have the other beetroot here i'm just gonna go ahead and peel that and come back to you guys Sorry, look good for the camera. I think I want my sorry with some rum. Rum good for low end guys, sir. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying. I think so, guys. I, I, I think, you know, I'm gonna research it if rum good for low end cholesterol because this is beautiful, and this is so rich. And guys, she did not you. You told them already. Say so didn't use the whole pack, right? Yeah. Oh, official Jamie. I said she don't. Peel the beet, she juice the whole thing. I think I had told you that um, recently that you shouldn't peel it. Mm. Yeah, I think I had told you that recently. You know, anybody else out there who don't peel their beets, I think you should just go ahead and 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 um, you know, and roast it like that. And you may not roast it, sorry, stew it. Yeah. Stew it. Where is that one? Oh. I mean, juice it. Guys, I, I apologize. All right, so we have that. Wow, that, those are nice. And guys, did she talk to you about the beet greens and how good these are? If you steam these, guys, you will definitely be adding good um, cholesterol um, benefit to your body. The beet greens are super duper delicious. And as, of course, it's also alkaline. It's also alkaline food. Now, a slow juicer would have been maybe 100% better for this process, but we are 
working on that. That's part of our budget. Um, you know, for the Christmas, we're gonna make sure we have a slow juicer up and ready to go. So come around. Oh, sorry, go ahead, you're at the right place. Oh, official Jamie said she ju she juice the beet greens also. Mm -hmm. We normally steam it. Normally we steam it, yeah. Like Kalalu or, or, or um, kale. Yeah, we just add it. And it's very nice with cabbage. Claire says the reason why I peel the beets is because it grows in the ground. Is that your reason to babes? No, it does look dirty. It don't, it don't look like it. I've never tried scrubbing it anyway. So, But it does look earthy and dirty. Earthy and dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julie says this must be good. It is good. And in a minute, I'm gonna tell you guys why why I use these ingredients and how they are good for both. Hold on there. Guys, also when you're juicing like beets, right? It's gonna be very, 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 very red. Um, part of what you can do also to get out all of the, the beet out of your juicer is to drop something in there like like the apple. That she's gonna drop or like cucumbers if you drop one piece of cucumber in the, the, the machine after you do the beat the red will come out almost instantaneously and then that will be beneficial to your machine in terms of the stain and also to get out all the juice talk uh, about uh, food colors why is red food good what is what, what is um said about Foods that are red. Foods that are red are generally heart healthy foods. That's generally the rule of thumb based on color. Um, foods that are purple um, are vitality fruits, foods that deal with youthfulness and life and them something there. And also foods that are yellow or orange is usually energy. Um, like banana, like orange, that's usually energy. And then foods that are green is usually detox. Mm -hmm. Anything green is usually detox. And so if you are if you're eating by color, and there is somewhere that there is an eating by color manual. A lot of um a lot of information is available on that. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna be doing that on the radio this afternoon on my radio show, um, Vitamin B on Caribbean Radio HD, home of the Brother Gary Morning Show. It's a it's a shameless plug, I don't care. Um, so we're going to talk about foods by color this afternoon on the, the vitamin B show. But yeah, so reds is usually heart, is usually lungs, is usually kidneys, is the vital organs um, that are, are usually reds. Detox is green, energy is yellow and orange. Um, purple, don't sleep on purple foods. Purple yeah, foods nice. would be eggplant, grapes, um, pomegranate, uh, purple onion. Those are vitality fruits. Uh, you talk about staying youthful, mm -hmm. talk about um, vitality, which is a little bit different from energy because the energy is up and up and like up and go energy. Right. But the vitality fruits is, is like long term. Cellular. Yes, cellular vitality. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what I mean, guys. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. All right. So let's get juicing. I don't but, want to draw out the But before the, the, that, the, the cholesterol lowering um, effect. On, on the body is very very important because there's a direct um, link between your cholesterol mm -hmm. level and your heart health so if you are told that you have cholesterol issues you are at risk of having heart attacks and mm -hmm. stuff like that and how do you get to the point where your cholesterol is high or you have you know potential issues of heart problems usually foods that we eat Usually, bad most fats. of the time, yeah. Yeah, when you when you when you eat foods that are excessively fatty. Hyacinth, hello. Hi, Hyacinth. So you counteract bad foods that you've eaten by you know transforming your diet and starting to eat foods that help to lower those levels, mm -hmm. right? Namely, our beets and our um, the sorrel and all or everything fresh. Mm -hmm. Fruits and vegetables can help to get you in a healthier place. Gwen Lewis, good afternoon. Hi, Gwen. Big up yourself. So, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to tell you specifically why. A little bit later, once we finish around the juicer, I'm going to tell you specifically why sorrel and beet and even the ginger. Is super duper is, good for lowering cholesterol. for lowering cholesterol and for heart health. 
Okay, okay. All right. So we're gonna run the, the machine. Hyacinth says, I'm here from Sister J. Thank you Thank so you. much for joining us. And of course, we welcome you to Yardy Belly, and you're now officially a Yardy Belly crew member. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell. Yes, notification and subscription bell. Thank you. So this is not a slow juicer, but I try not to rush through the the fruit, thinking that it will kind of give it a slow juicing effect. I don't know. Take your time. <laughs> put that apple, put that apple first. Oh. What, what what number is it on? Alright, okay. Okay, put the beat, the beat now. And then a, a piece of ginger. And then more ginger. And more apple. So you guys are not being fully sorry. Do you have any do you have any cucumber any at all? Like one little piece of cucumber could I just finish clear out in there, you know, no cucumber. And it won't affect it none at all. Alright, leave it alone then. So guys, this this Breville juicer is, is really one of the best on the market as it relates to centrifugal juicers. But again, centrifugal centrifugal juicers are way out of style everybody is using slow juicer which are called masticating juicers mm -hmm. and so you know um if you have a centrifugal juicer or a fast juicer nothing wrong with it you can use it nonetheless all right so i'm just gonna um use a little bit of this cucumber here you can peel it in a bit because i don't want the half color oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah color. so we're gonna peel a little cucumber and, and add it and the cucumber is mainly water very very good and healthy we're gonna talk to you about cucumber in in subsequent videos um but for now we're just using the cucumber as like a cleanser for the juicer we're just gonna run it through the juicer and all that water content is just gonna take out all of the rest of the remaining beat that is in the machine itself so we're just gonna throw that in. It's not gonna affect the juice in any way. And guys, if you can get a juicer with a bigger wide mouth, mouth mm -hmm. then you save yourself the drama of having to cut up the the, the fruits or the food, the vegetables small. Put it on soft. Mm -hmm. All right, you see that? Look at that now. You see how inside of the juice are clear? Yeah. So the, the cucumber just just clear out your juicer. And all that remains and the top is just pulp and then the pulp is, is gathered in this bag. And then guys, also, if you are vegan, if you are vegetarian, all of this pulp here can be used to make vegan meats. It can be used to make um, beetroot carrot cake. It can be used for so many things. So when we put it in a bag, it's just for easy cleansing, cleaning up. But you can also save it into another container and do something with it. All right. So as a matter of fact, I have a video where I use the beet pulp to make meat oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. you remember and somebody was like it's not supposed to red yeah 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 remember yeah 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 but you use it to make vegan meat and it work out all right all right so we're gonna pour our our beet onto our sorrel drink our sorrel um mixture over here need a spoon you want me to clear out the way Wait, 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 use this. Somebody says we're not to take the foam off though, you know that, right? <laughs> but if you don't like your drinks foam, you can remove the foam. You know, but the foam is, is an essential part of the drinks. Look at that. Wow, babes, that looks so good. Wow. Look how that rich man. Guys, and I can't lose half of that drinks here. Trust me. And this definitely you could use honey to sweeten this. 
you know, or you could use your favorite sweetener. Mm -hmm. um, you could use a little, a little, maybe a little syrup one. or something, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but this foam goes away after a while. So it's just the, again because you're using a fast-paced juicer, why you get that foam? If it was a slow juicer, you wouldn't get the foam. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but this foam does go away after a while. We're not and, wasting nothing. So I'm trying to use a little bit of water to wash out. But to me. Eat. Again, guys, if you're not using sugar, that's fine. If you if you decide to sweeten it, some nice brown sugar would be really good if you decide to sweeten it. I'm going to taste it, and if it needs it, I'm going to put just a little bit. I don't want it to be as you know sweet as usual. Right. You, you can also use monk fruit or stevia, depending on, on, on your taste. Um, but again, it's all up to you whether or not you want to sweeten this. With the apples included, I don't think it needs it. All I would do now is probably add some lemon to this just to give that, that nice little tang and make sure it's said icy cool. You understand? And that's a good juice right there. So, next thing, back to you, baby. Hmm? Back to you. You had something to say. No, but I was, I was just going to read it. Go ahead. Um, so, what they said about the, the cereal is that it, it significantly reduces cholesterol because it has triglycerides, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, that has been shown to minimize the risk of heart disease. And it helps to, um, to clear the arteries. Mm -hmm. So what that's, that's what beat? Hmm? The sorrel. Okay. Right, so we're drinking the sorrel year after year. I'm not For realizing. For 40 odd years, mm -hmm. we've been drinking and enjoying sorrel, but never did we stop. Well, let me let me correct that. Me, <laughs> I had no clue that this thing was, you know, a life-giving, life-changing food that mm -hmm. we were drinking all these years. So it helps to avoid archery clogging. And most of the time, you see products marked Jamaican hibiscus is really sorrel. All right. So yes. most of the times when you see products saying Jamaican hibiscus is really sorrel. All right. Somebody says Gwen Lewis says sorrel is good for high blood yes, pressure. Yes, it definitely is good for high blood pressure. Too. Again, because of the fact that it, it unclogs arteries. And so anything where unclogged arteries is really good for high blood pressure. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. So that's great. So you make the blood flow. So easier. that means I'm need sorrel like every, every two <laughs> years I forgot to make sorrel because I, <laughs> I need it. I just need right. it. So what the, what the sorrel does is that it decreases the bad cholesterol, which is called your LDL, and it, it, it actually increases the good cholesterol, which is called HDL. So let's decrease it from now. <laughs> I need it to be decreased. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The, 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 guys, we, we get a lot of comments, and most of the comments... You know, it's, we're going to take up that up in a, in a separate video, answer some of the questions that have been asked, especially about my recent videos with the male, um, you know, um, potency and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Right. And then now, going over to the beet, which is another super food. Yeah. Super, super, super duper food. So what the beet does is that it, it, um, it can do wonders for maintaining a healthy heart. Firstly, it contains betaine. Bet what is this? Betaine. 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 And folate. And folate, which both can help to lower blood levels of homocysteine, cysteine, right? You have to read that again. Okay, let me answer some questions on, on the chat. Angel Dal Dali says, Can we add honey? Definitely. This is, a, this is not a, a hot it's beverage. Different? Honey, oh, yeah, yeah. definitely it's not a hot beverage, so you can add honey. In in recent post, uh, um, I I did say that honey not not supposed to be heated, and of course there's a certain heat threshold that I now realize that you can you can allow for. Say for instance, you're putting it in warm water right. to a certain degree, right. yes. But this is a cold beverage, and so definitely honey can be used um as a sweetener in this. Again, generally I wouldn't use honey as a sweetener because honey is actually a medicine, but if you can do better, if there's the best, if that's the best one you have, instead of pure um, white sugar or anything like that, I would definitely go with it. So yeah, honey can be added instead of sugar. Go ahead now, mm -hmm. girl. Right. So it, it contains betaine and folate, both which can help lower blood vessel blood levels 
of homocysteine. Maintaining lower levels of homocysteine. What is, is homocysteine? You have to have some big word where we don't know. You understand? It's important because if it is too high, you could have a higher risk of artery damage as well as heart disease. And a proper blood flow is important for maintaining heart health. Some studies have shown that beetroot juice could help improve blood flow. This is due to dietary sources of nitrates beet juices has to offer keep your heart beating strong with healthy veggie okay so not only does it um lower cholesterol but it can also guys um give you a ton of energy remember that um uh coq10 which is made from it's it a form of nitric oxide is also made from beetroot and so CoQ10 is one of, one of the essential, um, what, what the other name, ubiquinol, is also one of the essential minerals that we body need. And so if you're out there and you're, you, want, you want to skim it off, skim it off if you want. And if you're out there and you're, you're not um, taking CoQ10, please investigate that. Now, guys, whatever we tell you here is searchable. Mm -hmm. Whatever we tell you here is found on Google. And we are not medical professionals. We just are avid readers. We are avid researchers. And that's pretty much what we have been doing. So please research these informations for yourself. Mm -hmm. Please do not take recommendations that are given just all willy-nilly. All right? Not, do not um, choose to stop taking your prescription drugs. Yeah. Don't stop taking your, your, your prescription drugs and say, boy, yeah, the belly, say. Don't do that. Go ahead and do your research for yourself. All right. Um, it's very important. It's very, very important. I implore you to do that because we are, as I said, not medical professionals. Also, we do not want to answer medical questions on this channel because, again, if 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 it is come up, if anybody should should um be malicious, they can use whatever questions we may answer or may not answer maliciously to report us to youtube or anything like that so we do not answer any type of medical questions if you ask me a question i will tell you what i did or what my wife did but we will not say you should do this all right so that's those are those are some disclaimers that we have to put out can you still put a little rum in it then i must of julie course. julie at, at the end of the day rum julie <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day this is just a drink all right, it is still just a drink, the regular, just a regular drink that you make in your home. And so, if you want to use a little bit of spirit or to get the glory, they always put red label in. Sorry, so, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think you I can put a little wine, a, a little rum. Don't, mm -hmm. don't take any, any willy nilly, <laughs> you may get filly. And I know this was Billy. <laughs> Pray it, wait a All right, so these are important um, disclaimers because we have had people who are, as it were, banking on what we say to, to make decisions. You cannot do that. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot do that. You have to make decisions based on your own situation and on your own life and your own, you know, um, um, body, whatever. Matriculation. Matriculation and supervision. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop right. here. The people have to stop the joking. So, All right, where are we now? Let's go. So, so. I just tasted it and the four apples now got cross it. The four apples don't cross it, not mm -hmm. at all. Because this is a lot of drink. Look up no guys. I'm here for the rich and the, the richness of the No may I tell you. Just sweeten this up me and my girl. Oh yeah, my girl. And please sugar. just limit the sugar content understandingly. You know, but sweeten it for me there. Yeah. We use a brown sugar. We're using a little bit of brown sugar. You know what you could also use babes? A little ginger syrup. I couldn't find yeah. It's somewhere here. I was thinking of it, but I couldn't find it. All right, um, so we have ginger Okay, so we have this one here, which is strawberry. Wasn't and there a... I think there's even a sorrel syrup, but I don't know if, if we have it still. All right, so we have one sugar. We're going to try to figure out what else we're going to use. So we're going to mix that, mix that. So guys, over time, if you find that you're having any cholesterol issues, Draw for your beetroot. If you can't find sorrel, draw for your sorrel. 
ginger too reduces fat in the blood so ginger you can add ginger to every and anything whether your tea your drinks your cooking your food if you can't stomach it to eat it raw ginger is amazing you know so that is it we know the ginger syrup there are somewhere the case of the missing ginger syrup the case why does it look like our name there this look like something scientific I'm in the bowl. Look like a hurricane. Ginger syrup. Ooh, we found the ginger syrup, you guys. Yes, Jamaican ginger syrup. So we're gonna use some of that. Again, guys, please understand that the sweetening of the drink is optional. Optional. If you can, if you want to go ahead and, and have it without any kind of sweet. First of all, let me taste it with the one. I with think you should use like a tasting cup. You know? Because them little untasting, they are not really taste. Them untasting, they are not really taste. So, just take some, pour in our little shot. cup, little, little shot glass. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tastes good. You need a little ginger syrup, right? Yeah, you need a little ginger syrup, but it tastes good, man. Ooh, as a matter of fact, I feel like it want more ginger. Yeah, you can't take more ginger. It feels like it wants more ginger. So we have one spoon of the ginger. Like, baby, can I put a, um, some ice in this jug? May I sell ice? $30 for a, a, a cup of ice. 13 yes. <laughs> right. Make up change off of you. You can have a cup of ginger. Julie Tapa, the peacemaker. Mr. J and his nephew. <laughs> yeah, we're not put J and his nephew in it. No, we're not. No, J and his nephew. No, we are here for the health, not for the drunkenness. But later, shall be great. <laughs> Alright, so that's it, guys. So we put one sugar and two the ginger syrup and that's gonna be it we're gonna just go ahead now and pour it in our are you so skilled that you can pour it mm -mm. i'm gonna go scoop it in run the big scoop we well, forgot use we, we, we soup scoop we ladle and ladle it in i use a cup no man can go and do your little lady for now. Bring it closer so you have less space, less space to go. Bring this closer. Right. Just so that we can avoid the extra spillage, guys. Guys, look at how rich that is. This is definitely a must-have juice. And again, you determine your sweetness level. Um, you could put more ginger, less ginger, more apples, less apples, you know, and just make it exactly how you want it. And of course, for us, like for instance, if I'm storing this, I will also, me personally, would I add to um, whole clove in it, because you know, whole clove is my go-to. You know about the sorrow with it, right? Yeah, boy, let's start with all clove. Cheese and peas. Then you're not not, guys, and if you have not seen that video, <laughs> the whole clove video, mm -hmm, guys, if you're watching and you're a guy, you want to watch that whole clove video, yes. Girls, ladies, <laughs> if you're watching and you have a gentleman, you <laughs> would definitely want to watch that whole, what, amazing tea. That fixes. That fixes all bedroom problems. <laughs> so after you come off of this one, you have to go and watch that one, okay? <laughs> and fix your problems. People have been contacting us from east, west, north, and south. <laughs> People are calling from Canada, from Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from Africa. All right, so that is it.
And guys, you see, whenever time your beet spill, you want to wipe it up immediately. Because if it ever stain, you know, problem. Problem, problem, and more problem. This thing is very unforgiving. See it? I don't think I dropped my mic. It already stained right there, so. I forgot to bleach it off. Yeah, guys, so this is the juice so we have a whole heap over there so left and if you can drink a little bit of this every day trust me you would have been doing your Body arteries your organs your cell you will get to the cellular level <laughs> <laughs> not talking about cellulite now <laughs> not the cellulite level <laughs> but the, the cellulite level too because you have to make you lose weight you have to <laughs> melt with the fat and maybe burn off the fat <laughs> And get rid of the cellulite. Get rid of the cellulite. <laughs> and make your heart healthy. By next week, we're not up, skip, and jump. <laughs> right. So, guys, if you have a Caribbean, I'm not sure if you can get sorrel online to buy. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to. You can get it on Amazon. Yeah, so Amazon, trust me. If Amazon not sell something, it's not, good. It's not necessary in our life. But if it's necessary in our life, it's then we'll have it. It's a drop. It's a drop. Woo! Why drop all? It just won't let us be great. The Untouchable Family, good afternoon to you, Untouchable Family. Bless up yourself. Thanks for joining. Sister J, you are the best. Thank you for bringing over your peeps and your family. We appreciate love all of Unus. We love Unus. And we are happy to have you guys as a part of this community. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we pray Una will love us, Una's too. <laughs> right. So, guys, this is what we do. Yada Valley TV, just two little people. You know, Josh is our, our son is on, on uh, is at school, so he's not here, but we're just a little family who love the food. We love our belly. Oh, we love Jesus. We love Jesus. <laughs> we love, you know, we love people, mm -hmm. you know, and of course, Guys, remember to catch me later on on Caribbean Radio HD3 for our radio talk show, which is called Vitamin B. We're going to talk about foods, um, color, eating in color. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we do that three, two times a week and once on Sundays. And then we go live on Tuesdays, normal, regular live, schedule live on Tuesdays. And also on uh, Thursdays with breakfast live. Every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. At 9 or 10. 10 a.m. For breakfast live. And trust me. Untouchable family. Where you live. We need to visit. <laughs> we love. She love ruin. <laughs> me like stay with She love ruin. So. <laughs> Trevor Robinson. But, you have to go watch it from the top. If you missed it. Make sure. And guys. If you have a YouTube channel. That you're creating content on. Please let us know. So that we can go ahead and support you. By mm -hmm. following Absolutely. your channel as well. And subscribing to you and then we can also blow up your channel on our channel so because one and watch the other that's what we're here to do all right yeah so Drop much respect hey sunshine blessings sunshine. to you sunshine big up yourself big up yourself everybody love the sunshine all right one more time for the juice Hey, one, one time, time for, for the, the juice. juice. Hey, one time for the robbery juice. <laughs> hey, two time for the bee juice. Hey, three, three time, time for the ginger juice. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> guys, so guys, this is you, it, Sister if, Tanya Johnson. If you're out there and you have cholesterol issues, please understand. Say you don't know, have to jump on cholesterol medicine. All right, as a matter of fact, let me show you something, guys. We Don't have a nurse yet. in the building, Nurse Tanya, big up yourself. Don't so go we yet, were talking guys. to the peeps about. Ooh. Okay, so dietary yeah. supplement. You know we have to have dietary supplement. All right. Mm -hmm. So this dietary supplement is a cranberry extract. It's chanka pedra. And it's um it's a it's a supplement and it supports healthy cholesterol level and it supports kidney health. All right. And this is a is a dietary supplement. This is not any chemical, it's not any weight in there. And you simply take two of this a day. All right. The ingredients, let me see if we can take out of something here. The ingredients is do you know that magnesium is super duper health um great mm -hmm. for, for that? In recent times, I've So these are it. magnesium. Magnesium is the other ingredients 
that is in this and the number one is chanka pedra which is a, a, a root you understand mm -hmm. it's a herbal extract all right so cranberry extract chanka pedra and of course um you know uh, magnesium i'm gonna try to find this online and put the link in my description box where you can purchase this for yourself and of course a dietary supplement one of the problems with us nowadays is that many of us are not supplementing our bodies and the foods that we're eating is not 100 percent good you understand so we need little supplement mm -hmm. okay all right so this is good cholesterol and guys you already know we're gonna be doing something on cranberry soon we, we actually had a request recently from a subscriber I have asking videos with beetroot and cranberry <laughs> yeah yeah so we're gonna we're gonna do that mm. julie tapper blessings to you too julie tapper yes julie tapper hey julie tapper yes julie tapper blessings to julie tapper Cranberry. <laughs> <Napa. laughs> all right so you gotta taste it of course you have to do the thumbnail first I remember some still can't taste it from my tasting. Um, what we look at cup, we look at tasting cup right here. Let me just taste some over here. A sample cup, maybe a sample this look cup. really refreshing. Trust me, here you go, baby. That's your sample cup. Mm -hmm. And you can you can give me some taste more. I don't have to pull two cup because remember, some no one wash up two cup in a star. Don't like wash up all the back up. And it, guys, you can imagine how this is a nice coal, eh? With bun and cheese at your <laughs> Really? Fried you're gonna go send up the cholesterol while you dry it down? Fried chicken. <laughs> Patty and Pork. Bun. Pork. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is to eat less fatty foods and drink more cranberry and, I mean, beet and sorrel. It's really, really tart and tangy. That's the beetroot and the ginger, but it's super duper good. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Do you know, you can. Did somebody ask if you can warm it? You know, you can warm it, right? You know, you can drink this like a tea. Let me tell you, oh, it's nice if you want it. Mm -hmm. You see, if you add the pimento and the the, the clove and look at cinnamon stick mm -hmm. and warm this down i'm gonna have some tonight for my tea it's gonna be like uh, like christmas it's gonna be my feet ever just put on the christmas something on the tv and just make christmas in october <laughs> christmas in october the year when santa come he comes so early that he is he, you know people take a teeth and run people, people, something, you know, oh, sorry, i'm sorry delicious. guys i'm sorry <laughs> tell him i'm a stand up comedian okay. that's what i do oh yes guys <laughs> Jim can't help himself. He's like he's literally a stand-up comedian and an event host. Shameless plug. If you're having an event anywhere, might I say in the world, because we travel. Very he travels, very well. yes. Mm -hmm. So you can just fly him out. We didn't want to fly him out to no, Luxembourg. We remember say you're the oh, manager. Yeah, yeah me. We <laughs> <laughs> Luxembourg, Spain, anywhere you want an Japan, awesome comedian Tokyo. or an event host. Or a speaker, best. a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. I'm a minister. Guys, every single job that he does, and he does a lot, speaker, minister, radio host, um, content <laughs> thank, creator. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Content creator, <laughs> comedian, MC. He, it all has to do with him speaking. So, and I am legendary. And he's a legendary <laughs> speaker. It's the right? So, the... The email address, if you want to contact him for business, it's going to be in the description box below. So just type it in. Yeah. And the radio link. Web Venture in the house. Joshua is in the house. So hey. Joshua is our son, hey. ladies and gentlemen. Guys, he's at school. Yeah, shout out Web Venture, guys. He's our Bonanonus one son. He is on campus now studying his second year in college. And he is joining on the live. Yes. Josh, let me show you the drink that we made. <laughs> He's going to say mid. <laughs> Josh is going to say this is so mid. So this is sorrel and beetroot. Just, guys, Joshua had to endure all of these 
<laughs> drink that we made and give him. But he's such a champ. See, I drink. told you. You see, he mid. said mid. <laughs> Joshua said mid. This is far from mid, okay? This is max. Oh, guys, yeah. So, guys. Before if, we leave. Before we leave. Before you leave, guys. I was telling you about our one-day detox. Green Valley Cleanser. This is a one-day detox that is amazing for cleansing um, the intestines. The bowels, yeah. the belly, the cara cara. Fully herbal, everything, not, no chemicals. It's all natural. Let me give you guys a quick peek at the ingredients so you can see for yourself. We have moringa, dandelion, king of the forest, sour sap leaf, guinea hen weed, jack, jack in, in the, the bush, bush, inflammation weed, mm. leaf of life, aloe vera, tuna, which is prickly pear, garlic, vervain star of anise and cinnamon so nothing there's no ingredient in the in the um the concoction that is chemical or um artificial or natural stuff and how it works is you drink the entire bottle it's only a mere eight ounces so do not be alarmed so you drink the entire bottle one go on a day when you are home and don't have to leave home and then within minutes, within 30, 15 to 30 minutes, you will definitely feel the urge, but not discomfort. So, and you will go multiple times throughout the day. And by the next day, you will be lighter, more energized, <laughs> you feel less like bloated. The Untouchable Family say, I would need one of that. Untouchable Family, the link is right there. Three, the, text us at 305 204 one two seven zero. We ship all the all around the USA, and and it's free shipping in the know, US. In but the if US. you want it outside of the US, you would have to cover the shipping. Right. But we are here for everybody because this is a life changer, you guys. Trust me, guys. And I use it once per month, and we have people in the chat right now who has used it and know um how beneficial it is. Mm -hmm. It is made in South Florida by a Jamaican company. They own the farms and they grow their own herbs. And of course, it's available. Untouchable family said I'm in a Jamaica. Boy, yeah. I'm not tell you. Mm -hmm. One day too soon, come here, my friend, I got Jamaica and Jim could have carried for you. Lord John Doe, the hurricane long gone to South Carolina and wherever else it and is now. The hurricane don't trouble me. Yeah, we don't didn't... trouble because we pray it out. Yeah, we, we... <laughs> <laughs> we only lost one tree. But hey. Hey, and we don't lose it because I'm fighting with the tree. It is coming back in Jesus' name. Oh, cut short up. Yeah, I'm multi oh, mat <laughs> multitasker. Okay, okay. So this is a drink again, guys, for those, those just joining our um, Saril Beat drink. This is amazing for lowering cholesterol and for heart health. So if that's something that you not only want to correct but maintain, sometimes people think that they have to be sick in order to take things that help with a particular sickness but hear, hear what it's called preventative measures okay so if you already keep your system at the place where it is healthy then you can you know alleviate any of these issues all right so guys thanks for watching we don't want to be this an hour long live it's just mm -hmm. a drink so by right it's supposed to be 30 minutes but it was so much fun talking to you guys out with you guys we uh, were live 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 yard the belly was live live in the kitchen and live with the juicing live 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 yard the belly was live Yardy Belly TV Live. Oh, where do? Juicing, juicing, juicing. Yardy Belly was juicing. Juicing in the morning and juicing in the evening. Juicing, juicing, juicing. Yardy Belly was juicing. Yardy Belly TV with juicing, juicing, juicing. Share this with your loved ones. Anybody who you know might have this issue or anybody who you want to see a win at life and health. Share the video, share the video, like the video, and bless up. Subscribe if you have not yet done so, and ting and ting. Trevor, we don't know if we get rid of fiber, Trevor. We have to go look it up. So, I don't tell you if we look it up too. Fiber? Yeah. Fiber or fibroid? It said fiber. Oh, if we get rid of fiber, fiber not good. It, I'm looking in the chat. Is it fiber or fibroids you're talking about, Trevor? Please and thanks. <laughs> Uh, well, men don't get fibroids as far okay. as I'm concerned. All right, so. Cheva, I know you're a big thing. Cheva, leave it alone, Cheva. Cheva, leave it, Cheva. Cheva, leave it.
Jesus name. Oh, <laughs> anyway, guys, we will see you tomorrow for dinner live at 6 p.m. All right? Or we might see you before that. Or we might see you before that. Live and laugh, juice and drink. Remember, <laughs> me tell you. Bye.